local PBS station. Next on Sagwa. <laughs> Sagwa, what have you got yourself into this time? <laughs> hey, nice haircut, Sagwa. I, I just escaped great danger. I'm lucky to have any fur left after what I've been through. You're coming with me. Sagwa was made possible by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thank you. Yes, yes. for summer. Okay, Sagwa's next. Sagwa! I sent Sagwa to the village with a small scroll for the reader of the rules. Well, looks like you're next then, dear. Oh, no need, dear. I've... I've already attended to my grooming. completes today's rule from our most magnificent magistrate. Oh, seems that there's one more ruling from the palace. The magistrate forbids anyone to build a campfire in the woods. The trees are as dry as kindling at this time of year, and he does not want any forest fires. What have you got yourself into this time? Ah, playing in mud puddles again, I see. <laughs> what you need is a good bath. Oof, no, what you need is a good trim. <laughs> now stop squirming. You don't want me to slip your tail by accident, do you? I'm lucky to have any fur left after what I've been through. 
Really? What happened? I'd rather not talk about it. It was most horrible. Oh, come on, Sagwa. Tell us, tell us. <sighs> All I can say is, is that it happened far, far away. When you were in the village? No, no. Further, much further. In the far mountain woods. Oh, really? And how did you get all the way there and back so fast? I was... I was, uh, kidnapped! Kidnapped? <gasps> By who? How? Why would anyone want to kidnap you? Who? Who would do that? Who? A really bad bar... I mean, a bad, uh, some bad... bats! Huh? I had just finished delivering a very important scroll to the reader of the rules when two big bats swooped down and swept me up into the air. Hey, what are you doing? Where are you bats taking me? Top secret. No questions. Hey, put me down. I know Fufu, and when he hears about this, he's going to be really angry. You know Fufu? Yes, and he's my best friend, too. Ooh! <laughs> Fufu, the biggest, scariest bat in the whole colony! Yeah? Then what happened? Yeah, what? I... I'd rather not talk about it. Aw, Sogwa. You gotta tell. Yeah, you gotta. <sighs> well, then they... They dropped me. <gasps> and you won't believe who I met next. Why, if it isn't a little meow, what's your name? I am Senlo, the Rain Spirit Dragon. I live far up in the clouds. But I like to come down to Earth from time to time, too. Wow, you met a dragon? Come on, you weren't saved by a dragon. Was too, and he said... Oh, look at you. You're covered in pine sap and bark bits. I'm sorry, Sagwa. But that stuff will just not wash out. I'm going to have to give you a little fur cut. What's it like having fur? Must be nice and warm in the... <laughs> what? Rain spirit dragons don't spit fire. Well, well, this one did. And fire is very dangerous in the woods. <gasps> Oh, my. Dreadfully sorry. Don't know what got into me. Maybe your fur. You set a fire. The trees are as dry as kindling this time of year. That fire could spread to the whole forest. <gasps> oh, dear. What do we do? What do we do? I know. Fly down to the sea, get a big mouthful of water, and spray it all over the fire. Great idea! And you're coming with me! And I steered Sen Long by his ears as we swooshed down to the sea! Hey, what's up? Sago was kidnapped by two bats, and then a dragon sneezed and set fire to a tree. And now they have to fly to the sea. Whoa, whoa, whoa. back up, back up. Kidnapped by bats? What bats? She'd rather not talk about it. It was most horrible. And when she told them you were her best friend, they laughed. Well, that's really rude. They shouldn't laugh at you just because your best friend is a bat. No, they were laughing at you, Fufu. F what? Me? Who were they? Fifu and Fofu? No, no, 
there weren't really any. I but... know. It was Fum Foo and Fat Foo, wasn't it? No, no. I. I... That was my call for the brave Foo Foo Fighters. Don't worry, Sagwa. We'll find Fum Foo and Fat Foo and punish them good. Oh, no. Wait. I don't want anyone punished because of me. After what they did to you, Sagwa, the magistrate should order them never to enter the village. And they should be sent to bed without their suppers. I... I wasn't really kidnapped. What a bad seat for supper anyway. I... <laughs> you don't want to know. I... I mean... If there's anyone to be punished, it should be me. I know. I'll make them clean the back cave from bottom to top. And <laughs> boy, does it need it. Fufu, I was not kidnapped <gasps> by any bats. I'm... <gasps> I... Not kidnapped by bats? What do you mean? Oh, I get it. You can't talk. Those bats are still around here, aren't they? you got my message. We got a couple of bad bats in the area. You all spread out. Check the bamboo bushes, the lotus pond. Oh! The... Stop, stop. <gasps> there are no bad bats, no dragon, huh? no fire. I was so embarrassed about the holes in my fur that I made it all up. And once I started, I, I just couldn't stop. You, you lied to us? You mean, I called in the Foo Foo Fighters, and there's no one to fight? <laughs> of course, I knew you were making it up all along. Fire-breathing dragons. And just why did those make-believe bats of yours laugh at me? I'm sorry, Foo Foo. I... I... Wait, how did it end? What? How did what end? Did you and Shenlong go to the sea in time to put out the fire? Oh, there is no ending, Shigua. It never happened. Like Dongwa said, I was just lying. Well, you're not now. I mean, if we all know it's made up, the rest of it won't be a lie. Just a good story. A really great story. By the way, Sagwa, how did you really get those holes in your coat anyway? Sagwa, are you all right? We just overheard Cook tell Tai Tai he had to cut patches off your fur. What on earth happened, dear? I went to the market and saw butter and a clay pot exploded all over me. Wow! A clay pot exploded all over you? Did did a dragon do it? No, no dragon. And no bats either. So what happened? Tell me, tell us! Well, there I was in the village, watching a potter turn a pot on his wheel. It went round and round and round and round and suddenly... Achoo! Bam! <laughs> Blobs of clay flew right at me. Nowhere to hide. I was hit. Blob! 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 Animals are a big part of our world. I guess I'm just one among many. Not all animals people talk about are real, like the dragon. In China, the dragon is very important. It is a symbol of strength and goodness. He also represents the spirit of change. Depending on what he wants, he can be seen or be invisible. He can become as small as a worm or large as the sky. The Chinese call themselves the children of the dragon. Today, the dragon symbolizes the entire Chinese nation. What about you? Can you create a mythical animal? If I could make up any animal, it would be a flying and talking leopard that I could ride. It would also be tame. If it were to fly upside down, I would clutch onto it with its stomach. I would ride my animal and go to like places um, because it could go to imaginary places. I would go to um, the places in the book, in the books I've read. My parents would, would take out an extra blanket for it to sleep on because um, in, a, in a forest or a jungle or a rainforest, um, a, leopard, um, a leopard doesn't have such a soft place to sleep on. I would name my animal Arrow. Now that's a great story. Hmm, what other mythical animals are there? The unicorn. 
This mythical animal looks like a horse with a long spiral horn right in the middle of its forehead. The horn was thought to have magical powers, like taking poisons out of rivers and bringing dead people back to life. Today, this animal symbolizes purity and love. So, whether it's a dragon, a flying leopard, or a unicorn, people all over the world love the magic and power of mythical animals. What about you? Next on Sagwa. Oh, your Magistrate, I have just heard that a messenger from Beijing is on his way here with very important news. This one, I think. A message from Beijing, your Magistrate. Well, what does it say? I've just been informed that I will no longer be village magistrate. Oh, dear. What is the meaning of this? Your Magistrate, I have important news. What's he going on about? Your Magistrate, I have just heard that a messenger from Beijing is on his way here with very important news. Oh my, such fantastic news, dear. A representative is coming here to see us and all the way from Beijing. <laughs> We have to prepare, yes, uh, prepare a proper banquet for this distinguished guest. This will be the banquet of the season. We'll be the talk of all the villagers for miles around. I've assembled you all here for some very important news. We are expecting a special visitor from Beijing. And I want the palace to be absolutely stunning and perfect for this visit. And I want you, Cook, to start preparing an extravagant banquet. The best this village has ever seen! <gasps> He's arrived early! Oh, so late, so late! Time, time, time! Yes! Yes, this one, I think. A message from Beijing, your magistrate. My apologies, your magistrate, but I must go. I have many scrolls to deliver today. Well, I never. Well, what's it say, dear? Well, what does it say? I've just been informed that I will no longer be village magistrate. What? They're taking our, I mean, your job away? Oh, dear. <sighs> I have never seen the magistrate so upset before. He's barely eaten anything this morning. Only two bowls of noodles. Yes, my dear friend. Tai Tai is also very upset at this most terrible news. Ah, very upsetting news indeed. If the magistrate loses his post, what will happen to all of us? Is everybody to leave the palace? For good? Oh, what are we to do? How are we going to live? What will people think? I don't think I can bear the thought of losing my palace. <laughs> what is all this about? <laughs> Enough! Do you three realize that we're in the middle of a crisis? I honestly don't know if I will be able to keep you three any longer. Since we'll be... We'll be... No, oh, I can't even bring myself to say it. We'll be like everyone else. Go! 
Commoners! Ay -ya. Commoners! I've an idea. Why don't we still go ahead with the banquet? Hmm. Not only would a banquet cheer up the Magistrate and Tai Tai, it would also show them how grateful we are to have served the family all these years. A most thoughtful idea. But what about the ceremonial fish? Surely a fish is too expensive now. Hmm. I told you she'd get upset. Where you're going, Furball? Yeah! Where's the fire, Ink Face? My name's Sogwa, not Ink Face, and I'm going to go catch the biggest fish ever for tonight's surprise banquet for the Magistrate and Tai Tai. See you later! As if cats can fish. Sheesh! What if she does catch the biggest fish ever? So? If she does, maybe, just maybe, Tai Tai will decide to keep those cats instead of us. We're royalty. Now, are we going to let that cat outdo us? No, no way! way. Let's, Let's go fishing! fishing! And catch the biggest fish ever! <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh, uh, Magistrate, um, uh, you cannot go into the kitchen. And why not? Uh, the scrolls! Oh, yes, the scrolls. I left them on your desk this morning. Uh, very important scrolls, and they need your immediate attention. I suppose I still have a job to do until my replacement arrives. Whew. That was close. I am afraid you have forgotten something, my dear friend. I cannot make my special fried pork dumplings guatio without ginger. Ginger! I'll be right back. Mm. Well, that sure is a big fish. Oh, this might be more difficult than I thought. What we need now is a plan, and fast, before Furball there gets that fish. If you'd stop talking and let me think! <laughs> hey, nobody said anything about water. I'm not going in the water. Oh, your magistrate. There were no scrolls on my desk. Oh, are you sure? Yes, I am. I looked all over the study, and do you know what I found? Nothing. No scrolls. You must keep him busy a little longer. I'm sure I left them on your desk, your magistrate. Let's um, look for them together. No water. Fish or no fish. Me too. I think I have an idea that doesn't involve going into the water. Trying to catch a fish? You? All you did was scare it away. How am I supposed to catch it now? Who cares? We're the ones who are going to catch the fish anyway. Sure doesn't look like it to me. Why don't you go chase a mouse or something and leave the fishing to us? <laughs> we'll never catch that fish if we don't stop arguing. <laughs> if you three would stop yapping, we could figure this out. All right, but only this time. What we need is a better plan than before. And I'm still not going in the water. Hmm. I think I've got it. Let's get this fish 
station. Just what we needed, the finishing touch. Now we have our ceremonial fish. I thank all of you. Why are we eating in the banquet room tonight? Shouldn't we be eating in the dining room? Uh, because the dining table is being uh, fixed, your magistrate. <laughs> being fixed? We haven't the money to have things fixed. <gasps> oh. Oh. oh, my. My dear, dear cook, I thank you and everybody, my wonderful friends, for this. My humble apologies, Your Majesty, for this untimely intrusion. For I must confess that I have committed a most dreadful error. It seems I gave you the wrong scroll this morning. When I realized my error, I ran back here as fast as I could. Hmm. Hmm? Beijing has declared that I am doing a exceedingly well and has extended my post for yet another year. Oh, we've got our job back. Yes, my beautiful lotus flower. I am still the village magistrate. On such a momentous day, it would be an honor if you'd join us. To my dear family, my sincerest thanks. Gonbei. <laughs> to learn more about Sagwa, visit us at pbskids.org. Fufu is my very best friend. It just so happens he's also a bat. And even though he may seem a little clumsy sometimes... He's really smart and funny. That was my call for the brave Foo Foo Fighters. We have lots of exciting adventures together. He's always around to help me out of a jam. He's just an all-around great bat to hang out with. Thank you. Sagwa was made possible by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thank you. Xie xie. You'll be flying high with dragon tails. Up next. It's time to sneak a peek at Between the Lions Between the Show. Ready? Let's go. Buh. Ow. 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 Between the Lions, Between the Shows. Gotta go. Bye. I'm PBS Kids. PBS Kids is made possible by your support of your local PBS station. 